know how sometimes when you see a time-lapse video, off in the corner you'll see a clock that's turning to show the passing of time. And uh, I'd like to make one. I think it'd be kind of interesting because what I'm planning on doing is I want to water this plant. You know, the one that has the little tiny bugs in it. And when I water it, I want to be able to watch and just see how the leaves change. Right now it hasn't been watered for about two weeks. And I've got uh, quite a few little pieces of clock parts left over that I got from Craft Time Clockery. I've got some nice dials, but these dials are way too nice to actually use for that. So I'll probably just draw my own. And uh, I'll use one of these little movements. I've got lots of hands. And uh, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here I am in my drawing program. And I'm drawing out the dial. I don't think it has to be very big. I think four inches in diameter is enough. And it doesn't have to be very fancy. It just has to be really clear. You know, I make these workshop videos as I go along here. And that probably explains why sometimes they're a little bit disjointed. Anyway, I was just on Craft Time Clockery's website here. And I was looking at their little dials. And I could have bought a little dial, just exactly the right size, for $4.60. You know, I'm probably going to end up spending $4 or more on epoxy glue by the time I'm through. Anyway, I'm having fun here. I've got quite a collection of scrap wood, and this isn't all of it. So, for the dial board, I'm going to spare no expense, and I'm going to use one of my better pieces of junky scrap wood. I'm going to make two of these dials. And that way, if I mess up on the first one, at least I've got a second one. And just make sure that this is the right size, and it's going to be plenty big here. My wife loves yogurt, and she saves these for me. And they are very handy for something like this. And as my grandfather used to say, use up the old first. There's the old. You know, I should have put my rubber gloves on for this. Oh, too late now. Two things I want to show you. First of all, notice the difference between this one and this one. I did them both the same. Now I don't know why this soaked through. Anyway, I'm glad I made two. This one's pretty good. Another thing I was planning on doing is I was going to mix up some Envirotex. This dial here I made up oh, about a year ago. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a thick layer of Envirotex on top of this dial that I made. And uh, you know, it gives it a nice glossy finish. Not only that, if you get it fingerprints on it, you can easily wipe it off. But, uh, anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use epoxy glue. And that way, over the years, the handling of it, the paper won't get as smudged as it normally would. Anyway, that's what I'm hoping. Well, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I put my rubber gloves on and I was just about ready to mix up the epoxy and I realized I got no way of hanging on to this thing. There, now I can hold on to it while I'm smearing the epoxy all the way around the outside. Now you can see why I wore the rubber gloves. I've only got about four minutes or so to work with this, so I've got to get it done. Ok, 
I can already feel that it's stiffening up, so I better hurry up here. Well, you can't help but notice that this didn't come out quite as good as I'd hoped. It's a little on the dull side. You can actually see the, the plywood right through the paper. And the reason for that is because I made the mistake of just using ordinary paper when I printed it out. I should have used photo paper, like this. And then, this I did a year or so ago. And uh, then what I did was I, I smeared epoxy glue on the back. So the, then when I poured the Envirotex on the top, it didn't soak right through. And you can't see the plywood through it, like you can on this. And uh, if you're going to make your own dial, use Envirotex, don't use epoxy. But you'll have to wait about seven days for it to complete the cure, so it gets really hard. And, uh, you know, uh, if you've got lots of time, spend the $4.60, you know. <laughs> I could have got a really nice dial about the same size as that for $4.60. Uh, but I wanted it for tomorrow. So I'm going to be using this tomorrow. Uh, watch for the video. And uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.